Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land. Here we are for episode 14. And uh, first of all I just want to say this part of the episode, this first bit for the time lapse, is recorded after post. As for some reason this was recorded uh, without the audio. No why no idea why, but regardless, back onto the episode and here we are, we're looking at our grass fill we did in the last episode and some reason we managed missed a couple of sections. Some of those I'll say is user error on my part, but I swear I set the worker on this side of the field, so I'm not sure on that, so why does the worker doing could be where I set the worker off on a slightly different angle. But regardless, we've got quite a bit of cotton here. Not cotton, wool. So we're going to get this over to the farm production and get that converted into fabric and then into clothes. Because I think from based on what I figured out is to get a thousand litres of cotton, no, clothes, you're going to need 3000 litres of wool. Because it's a 2 to 1 ratio for wool to fabric and then the same thing vice versa for fabric to clothes. But anyways we're just going to have a quick look at our fields we'll just see all the states so of fertilizer is all good on the fields but obviously we need to fertilize this field here. Not too sure why because this was initially a grass meadow. Yes, we ploughed it up, but I've done, I'm pretty sure I've done the same on the other fields. And we had that first application of fertiliser automatically from the previous grass meadow, so not too sure on that, but because obviously in that episode we seeded everything, as well as what else did we do? Oh, yeah, that was it. Fertilise it afterwards with this very spreader, so not too sure on that. And uh, we've got a great demand at sell everything container. Possibly interesting. Is there anything we've got at the moment? I don't think so. May have a look at that, but for now we're just gonna keep on frozen fields. And just where we're gonna go with where for how the farm's gonna grow. I'm thinking add some greenhouses in get that extra bit of income boosted in because I think it will be very beneficial to us get some greenhouses in whether or not we use the base game ones or some modded ones we're not using the alien gym ones as part of the no man's land map because we get a lot of money for that a lot of money for that even that's where we sell it at forty percent of the price we get at the moment, we're still making like twenty-five grand or so a day. But what I'm going to do now is have a quick look in the store and see where that great demand is. See if it's anything we can sell or quickly produce. But I don't think it's anything. Yeah, of course, you see where we've got the packing facility mod in, there is a few extra bits of stuff we can do. Initially, got that because of the spinnery, but after comparing that spinnery to the farm production, I think this is a lot better for us. Obviously, with the packing facility, it's a lovely mod, it is. It's so in depth, so detailed. What you can do, what you produce, but it's just not for us. Or at least for this part of the series. Maybe, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50 episodes down the road, if we're still going for that long. We may go into more of a wider production, but for the time being, we're not. So, how I'm going to do this field is do the sides of the field. So, do this top section. I'm going to do the bottom section of the field. And then we'll get the worker on it because, in theory, that's where the worker shouldn't struggle too much. Because obviously, with this top part of the field, 
we do hit a invisible boundary wall. It's a bit odd, we're losing a bit of tree access and now but I'm guessing it's part of the map in that in terms of hiding the boundaries and that. And we're going to use market here and wait a minute, that's nice. That is actually very useful. We can do with a lorry in that moment in this series. Because when we were looking for that first trailer in that, I wanted to get a trailer that had a fifth wheel hitch so we could get a lorry in that. Bigger capacity, easier to transport. But, uh, yeah, she didn't have the money for it. Everything was expensive. But for 31 grand, that is nothing to scoff at. That is actually quite good. Uh, as we go into the forest, the resource is going into the forest. It's just got a little bit of extra fertilizing down. Just so that way we get the worker going. The worker has no issues. And yeah, there are some trees we have to cut down. A lot of it is just because of me when I was plowing the field, I may have got a bit too close to the trees, but oh well, it is what it is. But if you get that trailer for 31 grand, or that lorry for 31 grand, I think what we can do is get a very cheap trailer at some point. But just having a look again. So, sawmill is very full at the moment we did in this episode but that mini sawmill that's pretty much almost out of timber so we're gonna need to fill up up at some point today greenhouses are looking good so we'll get some of that going get some more water in there but apart from that everything's looking good at the moment but what's we're here in store. We're excited to buy the TLX Phoenix D60. Quite actually very good trucks these are the Phoenixes. Love A2 Studios work. Turns with tires, looking at configurations of what we can go for. Because so we can go with the rigid version, short versions and all that. And of course the rigid has its own attachments to the trailer and that. Which could go for at some point but yeah it's just not for me I don't think but we're just gonna stick with the extension version have a bit of a longer ch chassis in that BKT tires some knobby agricultural wheels but man just look at how pity this is that is very pitted indeed that is I think it's got like 40 hours or so work on it, so just have it again in sort, mess around with a few details of what we can go with. Oh, yeah, I am mindful of how much money we've got because, for one, if we're going to go for the greenhouses, we're going to need a bit of money. Also, we do want that new planter at some point, especially if we're going to do potatoes in that or sugar beet to make sugar. We're going to need some cash in that, but. But yeah, just so many customization options. We have all the strobes. Go for a double exhaust. Tempted to go with the stacks and that, but I think actually in hindsight, let's just go back to stock. Save our money for now. What colour should we go for? A nice red. I am a sucker for a red, but actually, yeah, let's go for a Tiffany blue. Just something a bit different. Was that toothpaste colour? I think it is, if, if I got my reference correct. But yeah, that actually looks quite good, that bright blue. So, vinyls is something else. But for the frame, yeah, let's go with a nice Tiffany blue. Wheels, of course, it's got to be chrome. Has to be. But for all of that, for 40 ish grand. That actually ain't too bad. Got our old mirror and sword, funny enough, but. Possible new looters we can get. Yeah, 45 grand. That's, that's going to eat up all of our money. But wait a minute. If memory serves me right, these traders do have a gooseneck. 
Well, of course they have to. That's what it should in the store. But what I mean is, when you configure that trailer, it's got had a gooseneck version originally. So I think no, what we do is we'll get this over, get everything loaded up via the John Deere, and we're going to use the Phoenix to transfer all of our products. Yes, it only does that 52 miles an hour. I think there's a 90 mile an hour engine if you go for the upper spec engines, but they're not sure, like 30 grand I think they were, so we're going to leave it there. Get this over, get this converted back into a Gusek version. After that, get the TX Phoenix over, and then we'll get everything sold, I think. And there we go, work is apparently done, and we are at the shop, and yeah, I was just looking at prices and that, because figuring out where the best place to sell everything, and pretty sure it said farm shop, yes, definitely a lot better, an extra £125 per thousand years. So we'll get that. And perhaps we just have enough money to cover for the Phoenix, actually. Funny enough. Forty-three grand. Well, forty-four plus fourteen, fifty-eight, fifty-seven thousand two hundred quid, or eight hundred quid. So yeah, actually, funny enough, actually covers for the Phoenix. And with a bit, bit of a better profit. So remember, I can turn around a lot better with this. I think about 52 miles an hour is slightly faster, but I'm pretty sure this does come with a better engine later on if we decide to go down that route of spurging the cash, I'm sure. Top speed. 52 it says. Yeah, 90 miles an hour, so. Actually, what was the price differences again? 32 grand. Eh, you know what? We'll save that for now. Yeah, I'm not too fast about the speed and that. 
It's just an extra addition to the farm, which I absolutely love. And actually, when we get back to the farm, let's see how much it will cost to repaint it, because I know repainting is absolutely stupid price. But I know, like, our goose egg trader here does need a bit of a wash. What's that? Bit of an uh, unusual downshift tone. Attempt to get that, but I think we'll leave it because it, whether or not we do potatoes or sugar beets, we need to plant her first of all. Oh, uh, we can't repaint it here. What about if we get the toolbox? Because I think that enables you to. raining and how long is it going to rain for all the way till two o'clock that is not very nice indeed and how's the worker done on the fertilizer in fact we did the worst bits but still missed well I missed a section in the middle that may be my fault and a bit on the left that's my fault but miss all of this Jeez Louise. And you want to skip till 2 o'clock, so I think for a lot of this month we will skip because there's not really much to do in that. Yeah, because actually, yeah, generally they ain't much to do. Still have a bit of daylight there, so we'll get some timber over to sawmill. So that's coming down quite a bit, a bit of a storm here. But yeah, we'll get some of these logs over to the northeastern sawmill. There we go. Change the time. Uh, let's leave that time free. Sweet. We may skip into November, see what we can do. Oh, that's another full pallet, I think, of wool. Actually, speaking of which, go back into our productions. Yep, that's absolutely run out. Alright, yeah, we did turn that back on. I will turn the clothes on. I think it's just a little strip over here. Fair is actually these little Aussie these strips I don't mind getting. Alright. Can't get those. Oh no, it's all done. You know what? Fair enough. Bell and left. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it, I'm not too worried. Is that another full padded? Oh almost. It will still bring you over anyways. Got a few more planks. And how are the chickens? But yeah, a lot of this episode is just going to be just general maintenance and... Not maintenance, but general farm round stuff. Just got everything's growing. We can get another plot done now if we want to. But yeah, I should not really think it's worth doing it. Not yet, well, perhaps in the new year we'll just get some more money in. We'll get another full pallet. It's not giving us that full one, you know what? You will do. But yeah, sheeps are definitely worth it. Yeah, there's only half of those are producing the wool at the moment, so once we get everything going, we'll be laughing. Oops. But now, time for the greenhouses, so... Let's 
get everything moved out of the way. So I need to have a proper look at this. That's why I left the interactive zoom markers on. So I just want to scale and watch everything. Because remember, we did say a few episodes, well, several episodes ago, this bit here, so all of this section here, is going to be production chain, so. And greenhouses is a production, so. First of all, let's go and get the maple syrup. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. So, war goes in on the right. I'm not sure exactly where it comes out, so. Try to leave a bit of space. Just try and eyeball this in. Okay, that's there, so. What? Let's go with that. Oh, that's just quite nice, that is, so. Let's do a quick cheeky bit of landscaping just to tidy things up a bit. Go with dirt. Okay, that's about as far as we can go because everything the this side is not her property, so yeah, maybe a little bit sneaky, but what well, heck it, let's go with it. So next is the normal greenhouses, so we thinking about it, I'm thinking we'll go with these multi crop large ones, so we say you go there. And show how far up we can go. So, then we do the same. How close? No, nope. that's fine by me. Do the same again. And can we squeeze one more in? Yes, we can. So that's one, two, three, four, five greenhouses. And what I'm going to do is where is it to? Same with the greenhouses we did up the top there. We can put supplement water tanks in. So say we do. One, two, and we can go here, so one, two, three, four, and then we do another four, one, two, three, four. So if we go down here, let's actually have a look at these. So maple syrup, all it needs is water. So greenhouses, they've got water. Obviously they can do with lime, seeds and all that very lovely good stuff. Wait a minute, I thought these could do... Oh yeah, it can do cotton. Oh, actually, no, that's, that's actually interesting. I've never actually had a look at these before. So we can get grain. That's nice. So, 
So I get all your base game stuff from the fruit and veg section. From the carif crops, crop, carif crops, we can get cotton, soybeans, and corn. And look at that, we can get canola and sunflower. Actually, what? This is going to be very interesting for us. Not going to do the root crops. We got the production chain for oil, for the oil, so you know what? Let's do those. Let's enable all of those. So we need a bunch of seeds, lime, manure, and solid fertilizer. You know what? That is not going to be an issue for us. Just the fizzy part is going to be getting all of this topped up. So <coughs> I think the best thing to do is a time lapse of getting all this done. That's one, two. That's three enabled. That's four. For some reason, that's got 90,000 here. That's only got 40. Well, you know what? I'm not going to complain at all on that. And that is the last one. So, in total, we need how much water? Oh, everything's adjusting now, so it needs no water. Not even the maple syrup. Jeez. So, important thing is, so we're going to set that to s distribution. Just because we don't want anything anything spawning, I don't think. Same with the canola. And this will go into the farm supply production. So, canola, sunflower, and cotton and that could be distributed and I'll quit do the same with these so I'll quit do this off camera a sec so with that done so in theory everything should be distributed from these greenhouses into there so we got fabric cotton also in the evil now so if we have a little look all the way down here. Actually, enable those two as well before we forget. See, so yeah, fabric cotton that's going to be enabled. Yeah, if we'd done this earlier on in the day, actually, in hindsight, should have done it early on. So now it needs lime and a whole bunch of other stuff. So manure. No idea what the, the capacity is going to be, so we got 66 grand left. Can we get a bigger trailer? Because I'm just thinking this is going to involve a lot of carting just for the manure alone. And the answer to that is not really. Tip of body on that, that's 97 grand. Dang it. That's 90 grand. Not going down the cheesy route. Oh, well, you know what? It looks like it's just going to be our big body trailer. So, how should we do this? Let's buy a bunch of seeds in that. So, big bags need lime. <laughs> That's fruit two thousand years. And what's the capacity of this trader? Forty one thousand years. And that's you know, sixteen fruit two. So we need another four more. Next we'll go with seeds. Get a bunch of seeds. Can we get? Oh no, we can't get individual seeds, but we can get a 
crap ton of fertilizer. So one, two, three, four, five. That's eight. But can we get seeds on the cheap? I don't think so. Get individual crop types for cheap, but not. Uh, that's gonna be a bummer. That's nine fifty. Uh, looks like again big bag seeds for the win. Yep, very much looks like that. So. That's eight. Sixteen. Too many pallets, so. Oh boy, we got a lot of corn to do, so. Best way to get about this is just do a time lapse, get everything done, and then we'll come back and see where we are by the end of the day. stuff we need. Well actually no I think we need another 18,000 years of manure but that's not going to be too much of an issue but man the car money now that is looking a lot lower than we started off with but at the end of the day it's going to be worth it. Got tons of seed and all that in storage because we got seeds in storage I think whether or not it will show up. Yes it will, 21,000 litres of seed, so... We're going to be good for some time. And don't worry, that's not going in. You know what, we're just up here in the trader. 
so yeah, just another 18,000 litres of manure. That's going to cost us about just over a grand or so, give or take. Nearly two grand. Yeah, I think about 1750 if my rough math is correct. But besides from that, actually, we're looking quite good. Just do a multiple like, five point turn and see how this handles it. It handles the line fine. Yeah, certain bits I was like, whoa, it needs a lot more manure in that. So I was like, that's going to be expensive, but turned out it wasn't. And we could buy manure if we didn't have the dealership from the shop. I had that little spout there. But it's slightly cheaper, it worked out, to go from the dealership rather than from the uh, shop dealer. If I make any kinds of sense at all, but. But man, I am actually looking forward to see how this goes. Yes, I know we're going to have soybeans and corn sent over. Can we make use of that in the production? Yeah, just needs fertilizer now, but terms with. So actually, it'll store corn, but it doesn't need soybeans. That's good. And corn, actually, what? Let's make corn flour. Of course, going in, we can make corn flour. Why not? And we'll get a bit of pig food, so we'll set that to distribution. Flour, we'll set that to. Actually, no, we'll store that. No, distribute. Because then from that flour, we can get bread. And long as bread ain't needed for the first step of our next production, which it ain't. <clears throat> nope. So the bread, we can set that to distribute. Actually, no, store. Store distribution. If we set it to distribution, it will stay in the facility but not spawn any pallets. So. Oh, you know what? Heck it. Leave it at that. May need some tweaking off some settings. I'll find out what's optimal, what's worth doing. Like, is it worth just having everything to sell? Get a 40% cut off whether we set it for sold ourselves or. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. And actually, we've got 13 grand left. Let's tidy this up a little bit, shall we? So, nope. Go to landscaping, paint, dirt. Make it all nice here. Or nice ish. Does help we're not doing it evenly either, so. And if I say, if we go here, work our way down, again, not even, just have a little track in. There we go, just get that. Man, look at that, it's looking really nice. I will do the same for this. Oh, that's going to look so wrong now, ain't it? Should just have this grass. Oh well. It is what it is, so in theory, I would think it would be 4,000 litres, but could it easily be like what? What did it take in the end, in terms of? Lime or manure, twenty thousand liters. So I'm hoping for the early one. Yeah, it's just four thousand liters, I think. Oh, we'll find that in a sec. So three thousand three three six. Yeah, 4,000 litres. 
So man, we've got a ton of spare fertilizer and seeds. So all in all, it's worth it. We need seed, we need fertilizer at some point down the road, so And last one. But look at that, greenhouses are looking really nice now. So we've got our cotton growing and our corn, soybeans and canola, I think. So yeah, all so sunflowers and canola grows a bit quicker and corn compared to the cotton and soybeans but ov overall I'm pretty excited so we'll dump the rest in storage don't think there's anything else to do today besides from the greenhouses And Ash, you know, was it the sawmill? The mini sawmill needs a bit of timber. We can easily remedy that now. There we go. And that should be all of it. Including that pallet that was in there, so good for that. Just dump you somewhere here for now. And I think, yeah, let's, let's use a case to get the timber. But this should chop some trees down up there and just drag it across with the help of our winch. Ah, actually, no, we can use the winch off the TLX, couldn't we? So let's just try that one. Actually, would the trees get... Would the, how far does it stretch? Ooh. You know what? We're going to use this. It's obviously with the Platinum DLC winch. There's only so far you could sort of drive through the soybeans. Space game winch or DLC winch can only go so far before it says um, the cable length is too long, so should be fine going through this field. And we are. <laughs> that, that noise it makes. But yeah, we need to work on this at some point. Get some of these trees chopped down. So, let's go and chop me down. That time's up for a little bit, time six. Because after this, we're going to skip ahead till tomorrow. I know we usually do one in game month per episode, but. I just want to see what these greenhouses are like. So that's you cut down. We'll get a few of these little ones. Can get that. Yeah, no, we're outside of our property line. Oh, no, dang it. I say press the. Controller. But when has that ever stopped us from. No, not you, where's your one? There you are. Since when did our property line became a limitation for us on where we can actually place stuff? And I'll try. Let's try this one. So I've never used A2 Studios' winch before, so... 
Because in theory, like, the winch on that is like, designed for like, vehicle recovery and all that. So now you got the service pack. Which I think at the moment, if I'm correct, from what I've last seen, it only works with the modded, oh, I've done it again, match truck, so. But I know Dave is playing on. Put, what should I, I think it's the Winter Wolf as well it works with. I oh, know, yeah, it's saying. Oh, so now it's saying it's too long. Before, it was like going. Oh well. Uh, how does the winch working work it from the truck? All oh, patrol winch. There we go. Still a decent length of cable, so. Drag you over and pop that in. So I think a couple more trees, and then we'll skip ahead till tomorrow. So I think what we'll do is put a little time lapse, get all this sorted, feed the sawmill, and then I'll see you in November. We are in November now, and again, I've had audio issues. No idea what went on. I thought it was all connected and all fine, but yeah, heck knows why. However, we're in November now, so what I've done is I've put the greenhouses back on to store, yeah, store it rather than distribution. Because I did say it was going to be to about the fall before we put it back on normal and that, so to compensate for the money we've had extra coming in. But just looking at what we've got in storage at the moment, I'm sorry, the price for eggs. Eggs are at their peak now to sell, pretty much November, December. 
2500 per litre we'll sell those today I think our canola that is looking good growing really well and that will be converted into canola oil not sure how much it's going to be and you know, how much canoe we're going to get because like the eight fields we had 50,000 litres so may get more may get less I'm not too sure if I had to guess perhaps a little bit ooh, a little bit less than that compared to oats because oats is one of those high yield cereal crop but for some reasons we've got a ton of pig foods no idea, not sure why, but shouldn't have had this much. But anyway, so we're gonna try sell all these. We sell these, the fabric, the clothes, some flower oil, and canoe oil. We're gonna sell everything because I know something in the used market that could really benefit us. So I'll show you that in a sec, folks. But for the clothes, we can get about eleven thousand pounds at the moment compared to eighteen grand normally. Normally wouldn't do this, but we need the money at the moment, so what I'm going to do is sell the clothes. Yeah, in the future, what we'll do is sell the clothes for 18 grand around April. Because that as distribution, if you don't have to spawn, so come April, they'll spawn, we'll grab them, we'll sell them. But for the time being, what I'm going to do now is get everything loaded up. Not sure how much. In theory, we shouldn't have 4,000 more litres of pig food coming out, according to that, according to the production chain, so... But the reason why we need the money is, if we go to the used market, there are several items that we can really deal with. The one is being the Komatsu 951, that is part of the Platinum DLC. And this is a very handy tree harvester. It will make our life so much easier for timber work. Because remember, for timber and that, when you sell it and that, you get the best price, or get the most volume. When it's around, was it, six, seven, eight meters? Or give or take, it feels like six or seven, I tend to do. So let's say six meters just for sake of argument. But also, there's an agroliner trailer, and the issues we've had with this trailer at the moment, we've got the crampy one yeah it's just causing us so much issues with working with the harvesters it's a pain so I may have to go with a big scheme one the product transport one transport trailer I think that's a auto trader I may go with that at some point or normally I would but I don't think I would on this series just because on this series I don't want any auto narky stuff Okay, yes, maybe the exception of the bells. I may go back to a manual one, but just strictly speaking, I am only also in those bells. Maple syrup, we're getting almost a thousand litres. I think you get about 850 litres per month from that production chain, so it's going to be a few months. We did spend some money as well on getting the cell point in, but I didn't realise this. We didn't need sell point because the sell everything container accepts maple syrup. Oh, I did not realise that. But yeah, lesson learned. It's only a grand it was for the sell point, so sell it, get five hundred pounds back if you want to. Yeah, I didn't mean to actually press the tab button there to get into the store. But I think yeah, if we need hundred and eighty grand for the clothes we'll get about 11 grand no idea what you get for the pig food is I did try and see how much we can get but it's not a normal thing you sell so how explains all that but I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump cut get everything done and then yeah because we're getting a few bags here so try to grab four bags at a time but I think that, yeah, yeah, they're still spawning, so in theory they should be out in a sec, but rather than you lot see me fizzing around with getting all this loaded up, I'm just going to get it loaded and jump cut to when we are done with this loading. And here we are, 
sometimes they are. We've got a full tray load of pig feet here, pig feet pellets, as they're tend to called on the bags. We shouldn't have this amount of pig food. We should not. Because if we look at the farm production here, just doing a quick math of getting everything add all added up in that, at the very most, very most per month, we shouldn't get about about ten thousand years is actually less than that, but for sake of arguments, 10,000 years of pig food, 2,400 years from that, one cycle, so about, was that, four, yeah, 1,400 from the bread, was that about 2,100 or so, yeah, at most 10,000 years. We've got 41,000 years of pig food here, and the bags are still spawning. I'm not sure if this is an issue with the mods or some f weird conflict because yeah this mod has been out for a fair while I think well, I'm not sure when this came out I'm pretty sure this came out during my sort of six month at six months absence I did see a little cheeky mod review of this on YouTube but anyways should we sell it should we not I think we'll just sell all of this and then yeah I've got to look into it and figure out what the heck's going on and would Angel let us sell some pig food? Nope I didn't think so but Schultz's sell everything container that will I'm sure accept pig food because it sells everything and oh look at that it does indeed so 41,000 liters no set indicator for the price of pig food so it could be worth it quite a bit not a lot and look in our bank balance at the moment I'm suggesting it's yeah get quite a bit of money for that 105 grand 105 grand Yikes, so I think we don't need to worry about earning 105 grand in this episode or whatever it was to get the tree harvester because we've got that money already and we'll need another couple more grand here and there but we'll easily get that from all the planks now I'm sure between the planks, greenhouses and what else we'll get quite a bit of money for it I think in we sold everything now like the clothes and that the pallets I would guess somewhere between doing a quick math in my head 85 ish to 100 grand give or take but anyways let's get all this sewed up and then yeah, we'll get everything loaded up and then we'll see where we stand. But for the rest of these pig foods, we're just going to store it in our soil for now.
there we go. That is our trailer loaded. Nice little stack there, as you can probably gather. But yeah, we got a mixture of everything from the oils, fabric, clothes, furniture and all that. And yes, I could dizzy dazzy with some things at like separate sell points, but you know what? Let's just sell everything here at the farm shop. Should get a decent amount of money, if I had to guess, perhaps about 80 grand or so, 80 90 grand. And we're gonna get, actually surprisingly, a bit more than that. That's a bit. It's funny enough, when it's in bulk, everything sells quickly. It's not an individual pallet, it's a bloody ages to sell. It's like, come on, just hurry up and sell. But yeah, with all this money, this is going to help us really good. So let's quickly sh shove forward. Try to get you to flip over. There we go. So yeah, this should get another two and a half grand on top with, what was it, 102, 200, 205 grand? But yeah, so I have about 105 grand in total, I think, from that was in the end. So that is 270 grand raw now, and that is enough to get the Kombatsu, enough to get the Agroline Trader, which we will get because we could do with a second trader. The product transporter, tempted by that. But as I said before, I think, where besides from the auto load bell trailer, which we may change down the road, I do think I'll do auto load like, products now on this series, even though I do think where this is, series is going at some point. Once we've grown a bit bigger, we have a lot more production stuff going, meaning more warehouses or storages because we do need to think about getting the pallet and bell storage. I'm sorry, it's doggy dog area, Buster. And I have a friend's dog who's sitting with me at the moment. So, yeah, the combine's on the way. Soybeans are looking good. We've got 11,000 years from the first trader. And let's just go to the greenhouses, see how they are looking. Not too bad so far. But yeah, I was even not going to get many things spawning. But what I did enable was the. Uh, what was it? Uh, grains and that, so we could get some money from that. Ooh, uh, apologies on that. So right, set these to store rather than or distribute. What was it? Yeah, store rather than distribute. And it's come up like smaller pallet sizes. Wasn't sure on that. I thought it would only come out as a thousand liters, but guess I'm wrong on that part. But regardless, get a decent amount of money from the maple syrup. It's a bit of a long-term production. Hence why we got it now before things re really kick off, I think. But the combine here is almost full. So we'll go and get this filled up. And in the next episode, I'm going to say in November, to finish off the next episode, I think what you've got to do is get the grass cut and bailed. So we can sell that in December or January. Or even February if it's good. But as you can see here with the train out, we're having issues with it. It's just... I don't know what it is. I don't think it's the combine, because I've used the combine many times before. Many times before on other series, and none of the up... I don't think it's had an update if it has. Nothing changing how the, the auger works. I think it's the trailer, because... was it? The crampy we've got here? The crampy big boy? Big body, wherever it is, we went with in the end. Yeah, I think it's something to do with that. So, if you get the agroliner, which is a big scheme trader, and it should work with the combine. Because all it's like the spout is too short if it's catching. So, you have to adjust it between. Was it on here? It's six miles an hour, but it's like a low six and a high six, which I think we in kilometers. Was it one mile for 1.6 kilometers? Not sure, but. In kilometers, you do see a number of difference in speed there by 2k, but 1 or 2k, but in miles an hour, it's nothing. But soybeans, we can set it now if we want to. 
course is that's rock bonkers where we're harvesting. Getting too grand now, or wait, wait as it's peaking spring next year, and we'll get an extra two, extra what for two what for two hundred in total. So you know what? I think that's where we're gonna go with that. The combine's gonna go on its way. Yes, it's missed some bits on around the edges, but that's where we're going to see. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share it, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be far more Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.